What's going on, Alex Bros? It's Mr. C here, and in this video, I just want to give you a couple of reminders, um, namely two reminders about um, the placement of zero in a fraction. Uh, so here we go, a couple of recall statements here. If the value of n does not equal zero itself, then we have the following two uh, items to discuss. The first being expressions of the form n over zero are said to be, and that would be undefined. In other words, if we have zero, as I like to say, uh, underneath or under, uh, the expression is said to be undefined. So kind of similarity you know, in under and undefined. <clears throat> uh, the reason this is uh, is because you know, there, there's no number that you could multiply uh, zero by to get something that doesn't equal zero. Now let's contrast this with the second expression where we have zero in the numerator. So it's zero on top of some non-zero number. Expressions of this form are not said to be undefined, but rather they're equal to a particular number. And that number that they would be equal to is zero. So basically, you can always divide zero by something that isn't zero, and the end result will always be the number zero. So this is uh, going to be important for us uh, later on down the road uh, when we talk about something called the domain of a function. Um, so I just felt like I'd kind of plant it now and, and just kind of revisit it once we get to domain. Um, if we look at uh, rational expressions uh, in general, they often involve the variable x in the denominator. So that means, you know, if we were to plug an actual value of x into uh, the rational expression, it's very possible that uh, with the design of the denominator, uh, the <clears throat> end result of the denominator's number would be zero. Uh, so that's actually something that we want to avoid. It doesn't give us information that we can really work with. So if we look at this rational expression in particular, x plus 1 all, all over x minus 2, there's one particular value of x that would create division by 0. So if you look at this expression down here, x minus 2, what value of x could we plug into, or I'm sorry, what value could we plug into x to turn that expression to 0? And that would be positive 2. So we actually want to avoid plugging that in, and if you want to see the real reason why, if we plug 2 into that rational expression, we'd have 2 plus 1 on top and 2 minus 2 on bottom. In other words, 3 over 0. And that's, of course, as mentioned above, undefined. It turns out that any other value of x, so long as it's different from 2, can be plugged into this rational expression. Now, because 2 is such a troublesome number, uh, there's a phrase that we kind of uh, tag along with an expression such as this. Uh, we would say that, uh, all right, we say 2 is not in the domain of x plus 1 all over x minus 2. All right, so really just some food for thought there. Of course, if you have any questions about this, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, as mentioned earlier in the video, uh, we will be revisiting this sort of notion of bad values of x for some sort of expression uh, when we get to our uh, topic of domain.